Friendships. We all have them in our lives, and the truth about our friendships is that our friends determine the direction of our lives. Research has proven that the people that we spend the most time with, that we become like them, that we begin to talk like them, that we begin to pick up the same mannerisms that they have, that their, uh, their way of thinking becomes our way of thinking, because it's so true that our friends determine the direction of our lives. So this week I have been talking about the types of friends that we should seek to incorporate in our lives and the type of friend that we should be in the lives of those around us. And today I want to talk to you about the importance of having wise friends. In Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20, it says this, He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools suffer harm. Here, the writer of Proverbs tells us, he said, if you want to become wise, you don't need to go to school. You don't need to uh, study. That if you want to become wise, all you have to do is hang out with wise people. But then he says, on the other hand, that a companion of fools suffers harm. Because we know that foolish people don't even care about themselves. And if they don't care about themselves, are they going to care about me? And foolish people are going to give us poor advice, they're going to give us poor direction, and they're going to lead us in places that we don't want to go. Yeah, I'm sure that you remember your high school days. <laughs> For some of you, it may have been quite a while ago. But in high school, I'm sure that if your school was anything like my high school, that you had these different groups, cliques of people in your school. That you had the kids that studied really hard, you had the kids that were involved in the VOAG. You had the sports kids. And, and so you had all these different groups of kids. And if you were a person who moved from group to group, you know what happened? You became like the people that you hung out with. If you were to hang out with the athletes, I'm sure you talked about sports scores and, you know, the upcoming game and things like that. If you hung out with the people who studied really hard, I'm sure you talked about calculus and last night's homework and things like that. Because we become like the people that we surround ourselves with. So it's very important for us to examine who we allow to influence our lives. And this is not just true about wisdom. It's true about every characteristic of our life that we want to incorporate into our life, right? If you want to become a more joyful person, hang out with people who are joyful. If you want to become a more compassionate person, hang out with people who are compassionate. Because the principle that the writer of Proverbs gets, gives us is that we become like who we hang out with. And so today, as you think about all the influences that want to speak into our lives, news media, the culture, people that we work with, we've got to be very careful who we decide to walk with. To become wise, walk with the wise. Because a companion of fools will suffer harm. I don't want you to suffer harm. I want you to walk with the people that are going in a direction that you want to go.